welcome to Liz at Home. Today is another Watercolour Wednesday and I'm unboxing my fifth Emma Lefebvre Craftima Watercolour Box. I'm always so thrilled it's a high point in the month when this one arrives for me. I'm afraid I filmed this already but I did something weird and wonderful and it didn't actually film. So I have opened some of the things. I'm also not so well at the moment, so excuse my not great sounding voice. I will show you what's inside. Aren't these just so beautiful? I love tulips. So now, this came just as beautifully packaged as it did last month. And the colours were in here, beautifully packaged in their little box. And the colours we received, which I've already done, are this pale terracotta, a lazarin crimson, cerulean blue hue and olive green and I've already popped them and you'll see this later in the video where some of the filming that I did does come out. I've already popped them into this, it was these four paints. So I swatched them later but I wanted you to enjoy the unboxing. Then this month we're going to get to paint this beautiful image and to do so, we're given two beautiful brushes, a dagger size six and a filbert size four. So I hope that you can see those well. And lots of pretty pink packaging and some very pretty pink pencils, HB pencils with an eraser on the back and a nice fresh new kneadable eraser which is great news for me because mine is not fabulous anymore. Then as usual some tracing paper, we usually get two sheets which is super so it keeps you in stock for something else and this lovely image, I'm doing it sideways so we trace this and then transfer it onto the five sheets of beautiful 100% cotton watercolour paper. So that's what's in the box this month. And now you can see the swatching. I hope that you enjoy. I have marked down on each of the little half pans what they're called because I plan to, once I've got all of the paints, reorganise this palette. So now... I'm going to swatch them for you and then have a bit of a play with the brushes. So I have my paper towel and my water and this is the size 6 dagger and this is the size 4 filbert. I'm going to put, just clean the sizing off the paintbrush and put a drop of water on each of these paints, let them activate a little bit and then the first one I need to write down, I've already forgotten what it was, it was pale terracotta and then it's a little crimson. It's a high point in my life when this water box come, watercolour box comes sorry if I'm sounding a little bit dull today, it's just being kind of coldy and fluey. So I hope this is in screen as I swatch them. So this terracotta is kind of a flesh colour and it looks almost like a gouache in a way. Um, it's got obviously some white added, it doesn't have the translucence of most watercolour paints. Just add a bit more to that. Elizabeth Crimson. Lovely. I like alizarin crimson. Um, again, this looks almost not not transparent, almost a bit opaque, which is quite interesting. Cerulean blue hue. Um, 
It might just be that I'm doing them quite thickly. I've got too much water there. Soaking it up a little bit. There we are. And the olive green. I like that. That looks a little bit as if it's a granulating color. So there we have our four newest colors. And then I'm going to bring out another piece of watercolor paper. This is just from not a very good quality watercolor paper. And um, I by mistake got a little bit of the olive green in this because I didn't wash the brush out properly. It's quite a nice brush because you can do very thin lines and you can get fat lines as well. Make a nice sea sand. And with the terracotta, yeah, there's some oil or something on this paper, <clears throat> probably from hand cream. This is the back of a sheet that I've used already. I usually only use the one side. Pink means roses, doesn't it? And dropping a little bit in there. I don't really know how to use this filbert brush, but I suppose just to play with it. There we are. And now let me try the dagger again. This is our third dagger, <clears throat> sort of medium size this time. So we can make a nice leaf like that. Whoops. <laughs> Let me see. There we go, a little leaf, a little rose for you with some little tendrils hanging out. <laughs> so that is the watercolour box that we got this month and I'm quite thrilled with it. We got our four paints, terracotta, alizarin crimson, cerulean blue hue, olive green. Look how nicely our beautiful palette box is filling up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We've already got twenty paints. And I love the pink. I don't want to close this and make the pink theme that comes with everything. Pink and white. Beautiful pink and white pencils. And a nice eraser and we're good to go so I'm going to be painting this later this month and I need to do last month's one which also had tulips that was in gum boots in Wellington boots 
I'm not sure if we're going to have to draw and paint this hand as well, which is going to, I suspect that's what the terracotta is for. It's going to be interesting, but I look forward to doing this and I'll share it with you in my what I've done this month at the end of the month. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing the box with me and thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week for another Watercolour Wednesday. Bye-bye now.